media, taming technology. Hey, this is Fred from Obedia, and today we're going to take a look at getting started with Ableton Live. So I'm going to start by booting up Ableton Live. And one of the first things people always uh, want to know is, how do I set my audio interface? And as we can see here, I don't have one set. So let's click on that and open up Ableton. Well, to get your audio interface set up, what you want to do is you want to go up and click on the Options menu, then choose Preferences. And now we have the Preferences window open. And there's a few different areas here in Preferences, but the one we want is Audio. And you've got two selections here to begin with. Uh, the Driver Type, which 999 times out of 1,000 we want to be uh, set to ASIO and then that'll reveal in this list are available ASIO devices. Uh, in this case I'm going to be using my uh, Links 2 card. As soon as I click on that you see all this other stuff comes to life um, and these are default settings. And that's pretty much how you set up your audio interface in Ableton. Now the next thing you're probably going to want to do is record a bit of audio and this can be a little bit confusing at first in Ableton so what we need to do is find the area of Ableton where we can set our inputs and uh, click on our record button. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop over to the what they call the arrangement view over here. And just below that there are these mysterious little buttons here. Now one of the cool things about Ableton, uh, if you haven't already noticed, is that anything you point on will give you a description over in this lower left hand corner. So if I hover my mouse over I.O. it says show hide in out section. Now that's one of the things we're going to want here. And that will show us our audio in, uh, interface inputs and outputs. So in this case uh, we want our number one input set. If you choose one dash slash two that's that would create a stereo track and one or two would create a mono track. Now in this case I want a mono track so I'm just going to click on number one. And then the next thing I want to do is I want to record. So here's the transport up here and I would click on record and hit play and but nothing seems to be happening. Now why would that be? Well it's because we haven't actually put a track into record ready and to do that we need to reveal one more section using these little buttons uh, let's see if is it is it this one no that's the return tracks down there I'll turn this one on that is the what they call the mixer section and right here is where I can hit my record enable so I'll do that still got my cursor over here going to hit record there and then play. And it's a little hard to see but we are now recording audio. And the same would apply for this MIDI track down here. And that's how you get started in Ableton.